than a decade, Burundi was torn apart by ethnic hatred. Hutus and Tutsis slaughtered each other, plunging this African country into a bloody civil war. No one was safe, especially the children, many of whom were forced to fight. But from the hatred emerged a story of hope. On the shores of Africa's Lake Tanganyika lies Burundi, a country famous for its national drumming, its singing and dancing. But it was also a country split by ethnic hatred, a hatred between Hutus and Tutsis so intense it spurred a bitter 13-year-long civil war. In that war, many of the soldiers were children. This is the story of two of them, one ethnic Hutu, one Tutsi. They were born to fear each other and fought on opposite sides of the conflict. Now their hard-fought friendship may serve as a model for an entire country struggling to establish peace within itself. At 15, Donatia was grabbed by Hutu rebels and forced to fight for them. They snatched me from the house at night. His life as a child soldier was grueling. We staggered up very steep hills. We were still little children and they used us to carry very heavy weights. I saw combatants cutting throats. I was horrified jumping over their bodies. After six months, Donatien escaped while his captors were fighting. I removed my army clothes and boots. I put on my civilian clothes and mixed with regular people. When I arrived home, my parents were surprised because they thought I was dead. But the joy of being home was short-lived. Many years of conflict had taken a major toll on a collapsing economy. There was no work for Burundi's 8 million people, much less Donatia. He had no choice but to leave his village and head for the capital, Bujumbura. 28-year-old Lazar, a Tutsi, had a different life story. During the civil war, his family managed to flee to neighboring Tanzania, just beyond these mountains. But conditions in the refugee camp were unbearable. It was crowded, smelly, with little to eat. People were getting sick from unclean water. It was so bad, Lazar returned to Burundi, where he joined the Tutsi forces. My family fled together. We were displaced for many years in the camp. The only thing I could do was join the army and fight. Just a teenager, Lazar saw the horrors of war up close. I was afraid. A lot of people were dying. We were killing people and the rebels were killing us too. I saw how they were burning everything. I saw so many bad things. I could not imagine we could have peace today. But a real sense of peace finally came when the last rebel group laid down their weapons in 2008. But for Lazar, like Donation, the crippled economy meant few jobs, and he too headed to the capital city. My parents became even poorer as a consequence of being displaced. So I decided to go on my own and look for some way to survive. And this is when the two boys' paths crossed. They had both heard that someone named Benjamin Bikorimana was hiring young people. I don't care if you are Hutu or Tutsi at work. I am trying to bring all those who fought together. 
Also a former fighter, Benjamin set up a business collecting garbage for recycling. It's organic waste that's collected from a neighborhood nearby. These boys are just returning with a full load of garbage for processing. Benjamin's mission is to help poor youth, demobilized soldiers and rebels get back on their feet, no matter their ethnicity. Poverty is the main problem. If they don't have work, they'll end up still thinking about their ethnic differences. Bringing former enemies together is a priority in Burundi, especially young people, who make up 60% of Burundi's population, says Minister of Youth Jean-Jacques Nienimegabo. All these young people who fought in the war have participated in the destruction of our country. And the government feels that this program will help to reintegrate them. But for Donassia and Lazar, once on opposite sides of the war, changing a lifetime of ingrained animosity and suspicion was difficult at first. When we first met, we had problems. We found that people were lying to us. They were trying to divide us. We have a good friendship. Now we share the same food. Before I couldn't stand him. But it was time spent together that began to change everything. Every day, Donatien and Lazar begin their work separating organic waste from the regular garbage. As night falls, far away from their families, the boys settle in together in the shack they built next to the garbage dump. Bonds like this between Hutus and Tutsis are being forged not only in neighborhoods between former child soldiers, but on playing fields across the country. As for Donatien and Lazar, they are now inseparable. A history of hatred replaced with a future of enduring friendship. I am very happy because when I am with Lazar, I have no problem. If Lazar got into trouble, I would help him. And I am sure that Lazar would do the same for me. And that's all for this edition of 21st Century. I'm Daljit Daliwal. We'll see you next time. Until then, goodbye.